Have you ever used integer divide in Power Query? No? Well, it can help you. It can help you get data from this sort of layout with multiple rows into some nice columns. I'll show you how. Here's my data. And as you can see, every three rows is a group, if you like. You know, they're related, Monday AM, PM, Tuesday AM, PM. And the use of integer divide can help you group these items together to then treat them as a group and do something to them. So if I add a column and I add an index column, okay, this gives me this little running total. Now, integer divide can be used on this index column to group things into groups of three, groups of five, whatever number you've got. So under the, uh, you could do an add column. I'm going to go transform because I don't need to keep this index. So transform under standard, you've got integer divide. Okay, I click on that and I've got groups of three. So I'm going to type a three in here and click OK. So here we go. There we have it groups of three. So what it does is basically divides by three and then rounds up whatever number you did or rounds down to the nearest integer. So, you know, one divided by three rounds down to zero. Whereas three divided by three goes to one, four divided by three, five divided by three, and so on. Okay. Right. So now we have this column. One of the options, which I find sort of quite common here, is to do a group by. So I can right click on this and go group by. And a very common task is rather than doing some sort of you know numerical grouping, you actually go all rows. And I just call this data for one of a better name. So all rows. And now what we have is the sort of three records here. Now if I click on it, you can see Monday AM PM. And in the next little table, I've got Tuesday AM PM and so on, which is great. So now I can do stuff with this. So I actually want to remove the index column and then transpose it. Um, so if you can't quite remember the, the sort of formula to do this, maybe just temporarily go into one of the tables like table like this. Okay. And then you can right click and remove the index column. And then we go, there's the col table dot remove columns. Okay. So remember that. So all I'm going to do is add a column, custom column. So it's table remove. Remember, never type the dot. So there it is, table remove columns. Um, double click on open the bracket, double click on data, because that's the name of the sort of table column, if you like. Uh, oh, I've got a obviously tell it what column to remove, index. And it's very case sensitive. Put a little round bracket on the end. Okay. So there's my table without it, without the index. Now I want to flip that um, table around. So I'm actually going to go back in here and transpose it. So it's table.transpose to flip that around. Okay. Table, let me put a bit of space in here. Trans, there it is, table transpose, open the bracket, go to the end, close the bracket, and click OK. And inside this little table now, I flipped it around. So right click, remove other columns, expand this out. OK, expand that out there. There we go. Um, OK, I don't want to promote this header yet. I want to fill this down. So right click, fill down. There we go. And now I want to remove every other row. So this is going to be, let me call this the day column. Oops, let me type that in again. That's the day column. This is going to be AM. This is going to be PM. Beautiful. And then I want to remove every other row. So there's a lovely button. How good is Power Query? Okay, there is a remove rows remove alternate rows. Just so good. So first row is that first one. Then I want to remove that row, skip one row, keep one row, remove one row. Beautiful. Okay. And don't forget, 
transform detect data type, text, whole number, whole number, change them to decimal if you need to, but there we go. And then to finish this off, you probably don't want, if you're doing pivot table, Power BI type reporting, you don't really want AMPM in separate columns, um, you know, in this specific example. So I might go right click, unpivot other columns, and then you've got, you know, an AMPM column and the value for doing your slicing and dicing. All right, hope you find that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Check out the description, follow the channel, and I will catch you in the next video.